It's got third and gray, third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on Zoom. I yawn at the display, third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops step dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out, don't lose your youth. Cause I can stay inside and step away inside. Oh. Hey besties, it's Anna and welcome to my room. <laughs> I just feel like I'm filming for a bit and just kind of doing like a little update on my life, how my writing's going and stuff like that. And hopefully also do a bit of writing um, this afternoon. So it's currently 3.25 p.m. and I kind of had a busy day. I went shopping with my mom and I actually got the vaccine, which, uh, is my third dose so it's like my booster shot so i don't want to like push myself too hard today but still i would love to get some writing done when i was at the shops i i got a book which i've been wanting for so long this is jonathan strange and mr norrell um by susanna clark who is like my favorite author she um actually wrote piranesse which i have a hardcover of and Look how pretty this book is. So I'm so excited to get reading. Um, maybe I'll read some in this vlog. But it's kind of raining outside. So I'm really excited just to like have the mood to write. And it's just just a good relaxing day which I enjoy. So I hope you guys are having a good day too. But anyways, let's go ahead and maybe do some writing. And I'll catch you up on what I've been writing. What my projects are. And just like how I've been feeling. But before we get on to this awesome vlog, I really would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel because it will mean the world. So thank you so, so much. And also, I actually have a new podcast out, which is so exciting, where I literally just talk about writing for like 20 minutes. So if you guys ever just need a break or need to get into the mood of writing and just like get inspired, definitely check out. I'll put it in the iCard for the link on Spotify. So definitely follow me there. But yeah, let's go ahead and get writing. I also got a new necklace, um, it's so pretty, it kind of goes with this other necklace, they're kind of a bit tangled, but like look how pretty these are, if you guys know what this is from, you know. I'm all cozied up, I just put on a jumper, I have my tea, and I'm ready to get writing. I also made some cookies, um, I know this is like very different, I feel like if I do vlogs like this you guys can like get to know me a bit more. But if you didn't know, I really like to bake. I bake this massive cookie. I baked like a lot of cookies, but I never really like to use a re like a recipe because I feel like I have been cooking for a long time. Like I mean, I can you know bake normally, but no, it's really important to use a <laughs> recipe because following my instincts isn't always the best thing. Because this cookie is so hard. I'm sorry, I'm just like getting distracted. But yeah, um, I'm just really excited to get back into writing. I low-key have been a little tiny weenie bit in a writing slump. Not that I'm really like discouraged to write, but more so I just like, I don't know, it's a lot of effort and work to get writing, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm not really sure if I am in a writing slump, writing block at the moment, I think. It's maybe because I just finished that big book that I've been working on. But then again, I thought like finishing a book would kind of propel me on to finish another book. And it's really weird because I am very, very close to finishing Project BB, which is a standalone fantasy novel. And I actually have the first chapter as an audiobook if you guys want to go ahead and listen to it. But um, yeah, I hope to write a little bit today and just see if I can get into the mood of writing. If I can't, I think a very good tip for you guys is if you just don't, want to write just don't write and sometimes it is hard finding that balance between if you want to write or if you should take a break or if you should write you know what i mean um but 
I hope I get to go into the writing mood and stuff like that right now and see how I go. It's just a really nice rainy day. And I just think like I haven't been writing too much this week and I really just miss it. But it's really awkward because I feel a little bit burnt out. And uni is starting up next week so I really want to just try to write as much as I can and really see how I feel. So let's go ahead and get writing. Um, wow, I just finished that chapter, which I've been meaning to do for a long time, and it did not end how I expected it to end. I, mm. if you guys need some, sorry, I'm just like adjusting the camera a bit. There we go. If you guys needed some like context to like what sort of book I'm writing, it is a fantasy. It's essentially a book where this girl named Robin um, is from this place called the slums where it's kind of like the peasants of the world and it's in like a kingdom-esque sort of book. What ends up happening is Robin is like a self-taught thief and she likes to steal things from the kingdom stuff like jewels or like hair brushes or just like little trinkets that kind of um, make her feel like she's almost avenging her dead parents who were killed by the king yeah kind of sad i know but she ends up realizing that those things have no merit and really it does not mean anything but in this story the king which robin literally hates um, she actually kind of like hates all the rich people, all the noblemen and women. She just hates, she hates it so much. But the king's like prized possession actually is his son in this kind of book. It's kind of like very like men driven. Um, I guess like the story I wanted to kind of tell is also feminist sort of vibes, but um, getting sidetracked. Essentially Robin, instead of stealing all these things, realizes she needs to steal something of value. Thus she steals the prince, which is the most valuable thing to the king ever. What's really funny is I'm literally at the part where it's like the heist, where her and her friends who she kind of taught to thieve um, actually go and steal the prince however something goes wrong and that's kind of also where a whole like magical um, event happens which is one of the characters who realizes that she actually has the ability to control fire and like magic and kind of yeah it's really really cool. Something I also really love about this part of my book is Robin and her like internal conflict with herself because she Loki is kind of falling for the prince but in a really slow confusing way because yes yeah, she hates the people but like the prince is actually so confusing because he's being kidnapped right like right now but the prince is all for it it's hilarious I just think it's just so cute and just like so like I love the prince's his name's Prince Caro by the way but he has the most interesting personality he's just so genuine and he's very witty and smart and Robin just can't figure him out for her life because Robin is such a really like quick witty like completely like hard-headed and very like doesn't take anything and she's just like so cool and like level-headed but it's Caro who literally like messes her up and gets her flustered and just she is so confused with whatever these feelings are and like it's so interesting because she's trying to like you know literally kidnap him 
but he's making her blush and it's like who's in control of this situation right now but it's so so funny because um the prince literally helps with her escape and like helps himself get kidnapped it's 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 such a weird thing and I low-key am here for it. It's just so fun to write. And just also figuring out Prince Caro's, um, just his personality and like his motivations and just like the true meaning to why he wants to literally be kidnapped. Um, yeah, it's something I don't even know yet. I, can, I mean, I kind of have an idea, but like, you know, when you're kind of free writing slash like figuring things out as you go, that's kind of like my vibe, but I'm here for it and it's so, so fun. However, I just finished that chapter. That chapter actually is chapter 24 and that's kind of really cool because I hope to get up to like 30 chapters around. So I'm very, very close to finishing this book. I'm going to vlog it, so definitely stay tuned. However, I've been talking for a little bit and I've been writing for a lot of time so I think I'm gonna take a break and do some reading because I really really want to start that new book I got today so I'm gonna go ahead and do some reading. Hi guys, um, oh my goodness, this book is so, so cool. I'm one chapter in and like Loki, that took me a little while, but like this book is so cool. I can definitely um like feel her writing. Her writing is beautiful, amazing, just like so like witty, but like easy to read. And just like the little details she picks up on is really, really cool. But essentially what has happened so far in this book, if you are interested, is that um, is that there's like a magician sort of club um, in England where these like old kind of like retired men come and like have a little club where they talk about um, magic and like, there's these two men in particular who have really like gone into deep thought to why there is no more magic in England and they end up reaching out to this guy who they've always like kept in touch with but this guy lives so far from the club where they meet so they've never really talked in person but finally they reach out and they actually go to this man's place. This man is actually called um, Mr. Norrell and um, when they go in their house they kind of see like really interesting weird things that i can't really explain such as they see like a few candles like on a table but it doesn't account for the amount of light that's in the room or when mr norrell is kind of guiding them to his like magical like amazing um huge library one of them is usually really good at like directions but they can't tell what direction they're going it's almost like north south east west but there's a completely new direction that they're going. I don't know, I just love it and it's so, so cool because the two characters who have come to Mr. Norrell's house kind of ask him the question and that's kind of the reason for their visit. And Mr. Norrell is like, 
I don't really understand your question because I am a practice magician. So magic still exists. It's so cool. But anyways, guys, that's the video. I'll have to stop it here because I just want to go ahead and read some more. I just, oh, I love it so, so much. Anyways, um, read that book. Definitely get it if you can. Um, I hope you maybe wrote with me a little bit or just got inspired to write um, some of your book. And again, if you kind of are feeling a little bit down, um, just like don't put too much pressure on yourself. I like what I did today. I only like finished a chapter I didn't write too many words. I didn't like write for five hours straight You know, I just like kind of went with the flow and I was actually really excited and when you stop putting that pressure on yourself You just are able to write quickly and you're just able to enjoy writing really anyways I hope you guys subscribe to my channel because it really does help and again check out my podcast on Spotify Anyways, guys, I hope to see you in my next writing vlog. And yeah, as always, keep writing. Bye, guys.